Hello, and welcome to my Infinite Bite video. Uh, for a while, the main way of doing it is this. You've got a power source, a research chamber, and an auto arm next to one of these things that grow little bites. You have the research arm on, it picks up a bite, puts it in the machine, the, mach the machine starts uh, researching it. Over time, this will regrow, it'll pick it up and put it on. So infinite bytes the thing is it is very slow you see i'm only getting 33 bytes every minute so if i turn this off we've got these machines here these machines take into effect the fact that if you have a partly researched item see this is 4058 bytes and a full one is 7400 you can see that there. If you take a partly researched item, oh, wrong button, and again, and package it, and then unpackage it, stick it back on, it's now back to 7,400. So you can reuse the same research sample over and over and over. This design belongs to the YouTube channel Jonathan's Info Dump and I will be linking his video in the description of this video and what this does is you've got the two power sources each one of these takes two power these generate four so two four six eight so to fully power them all you need two RTGs now you could use other power sources but RTGs are just simpler now you have one of the RTGs running through splitters, so it splits half, it splits half, 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 half. So at the end, you've got 1.3 power coming out, and you've got these three feeding into nothing. Now what you do is you take a medium battery with a battery sensor, charged or empty, and you stick it on, and then you use something to drain the battery. I use uh, He uses an oxygenator, and I find it quite simple as well. So you turn it on, and when the battery fully drains, they all turn on, you turn it off. And because there's so little going into the system, when that fully charges, that'll activate and turn off all of these because the pin is on the storage platform, not an individual research chamber. Now this is his design, I'm not claiming that I created this. However, I did use his design to create this. Now this is just one splitter, just unplug that, doesn't need to be plugged, I just like it that high, but I've used the splitter to turn the power all the way down to, let's plug it up a bit, it needs to be about 1.7 or 1.6, uh, 0.16 or 0.17 sorry, and if you do it, it works in mostly the same manner. It will still drain and then activate all of them. And that will finish with about five minutes left. Uh, so you lose maybe a thousand bytes per unit. But you're still getting 6,400. And then once they're finished and they turn off, you can take them out, put them into a packager, unpackage them, and then put them back on drain the system and then reuse the package the reuse the bytes that you've already researched the thing about this design as opposed to his design is because there's two because the power is being fed directly into the system and it isn't being bled off into this one you need to have the power lower so you see I'm generating 0.16 which is going into the battery and he generates 0.13 if you set my system to 0.13 there's too much power going into the research chambers and they'll finish before the timer runs out now because this works this way and that it's almost completely powered if I added another medium platform uh, extra large platform C with four and set it 
from this battery you'll still have the research item when it's finished it doesn't drain the research item completely so this system is modular so over here I'll just turn that off do it there we go so this system it does require more work than that over there like that you could just leave going forever but it generates more items now you do have the trade-off with every time it's finished you have to take every item out package it and put every item back but my system is modular so I now have many bytes and if I stick that on there and drain the power supply this is going to be quite loud they all char they all research at the same time they'll all finish at the same time and you could unpackage every single one, uh, repackage every single one then unpackage and put it back now you could run all of these are fully powered so you've got those uh, eight RTGs powering all of these these are powered separately from these two RTGs but the whole system is modular which means as long as I can have as long as I can power them fully I can have as many of these as I want running from that pin if I run out of pins because you can only have I believe 12 I could send the last pin to a button repeater and then use the button repeater to activate even more now obviously this would have issues with lag and the fact that you have to repackage every single one of them individually but I'm now creating over four and a half thousand bytes a minute and I can reuse these over and over and over I've actually used this system to create a save file with a million bytes so that I'm ready for next update now I don't know if this is going to get patched in the next update it might, it might not but now I've got a save file with plenty of bytes to unlock all the new stuff. So that is basically it. And I'm going the wrong direction. Uh, but, you know, that is how you create infinite bytes. If you just want slow bytes but forever, you do have this option. And then you've got these which require a bit more work, but you do get far, far more bytes. Thank you very much and goodbye.